Hi, I'm Jessica Schur here with Her Flicks at Sundance 2014. Couldn't make it up to Sundance making that track. We have some wonderful interviews for you. Here we go. And I'm here with Miss Roy Kennedy, an incredible filmmaker. What I love about you is you had 16 documentaries that you directed, 13 that you've produced, one of which was a, a four-part story. What is it about telling a story for you? Well, for me, I, I got into documentaries uh, actually really because of my interest in social, having a social impact and being able to tell stories that are outside of the mainstream media and shed light on an issue that people don't necessarily get a lot of access to or understand what it is to be on the front lines of some of these issues and challenges that people face. Um, but, you know, I also love to tell stories, and so I think it was the combination of both of those interests that got me started in documentary film filmmaking and uh, feel very lucky to have been doing this for the last 15 or 20 years or so. No, you don't look that old. Um, so last year you were here with Ethel, 2012, which was your mother's story. Yes, you're here this ago. two years ago, right? And now this, this year you're here with the last days of Vietnam. When did you know that this was a story that you had to tell the world? When did that tree tell you, I got to tell my story? Right. Well, I was actually approached by American Experience, Mark Samuels, and he asked me if I was interested in telling a story about the final days of the Vietnam War, and it was always a, a, a time in our history that I was fascinated with. And so I jumped at the opportunity, said yes immediately. But what I didn't fully appreciate in telling this story was really um, what the, revealing these extraordinary stories of heroism of the people who were on the ground, who went against U.S. policy and risked their lives to save the South Vietnamese. And so our story ends up really focusing on them and, and these acts of heroism. Right. Did, did you know that, you know, that there must be such a vulnerable topic going in there as maybe an outsider, but did you ever feel that there was time you said, I've I got to stop? Stop telling the story? Stop telling this story. Is there something about this project that you felt maybe got in your way? Um, well, there were certainly challenges in telling this story, um, you know, along the way. It was it was a complicated story in the edit room, and it was, you know, it was a very hard story for the people who had lived on the front lines of it, and the, particularly the Vietnamese and the Americans and the position that they were put in on the ground, and it was very emotionally fraught for so many people, but, you know, I think we all collectively felt like it was a story that hadn't been told and was worth telling, and they were, you know, very boldly willing to kind of really go to the edge of their comfort to to really uh, explain what happened and what it was like to be there in Saigon in those final days. Did you find it um, ease and grace to talk with others? Did it find it that it was a little bit of um, you know a, a language barrier or a cultural barrier for you coming from the America? Uh, well, we really, f the film focuses primarily on the Americans who were on the ground and, and the, the risks that they took to save the South Vietnamese because at the time Saigon had fallen so quickly, the U.S. said we just got to get the Americans out, but the, these Americans had very close-knit relationships and families even with the South Vietnamese and they, did, they knew if they were left behind, many of them would be killed or tortured or just sent to uh, re-education camps, so there was a lot at stake. And they, you know, they they took it upon themselves to to really risk everything to try to save these South Vietnamese. Of course, we also tell the story from the South Vietnamese perspective as well, and what it was like, and for the people who were left behind. Um, and but I didn't feel like there was much of, you know, there was a translator, and we worked through the the language barrier. And this has been a Herflix moment.